Hey everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am back here in St. Charles, Illinois, and I promised you a dream backyard. And I'm gonna take you on the path the same way everybody else would come into this backyard. So this is my first time back here after the landscaper's been here and after the guys have plugged it in. Let's take a look. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. gosh they've even cleaned up our mess this was the main path to come down into the backyard so all those machines and stuff were coming down in through here you can see they've resodded everything i see a new wall put in there looking good i love the flagstone choice they got a little island out here where they're gonna put their portable pizza oven i can already hear the sound of water but look at how cleaned up this patio looks wow that looks awesome i actually really love this stone they used on this island too really cool look at the size of that countertop <laughs> All I can really say is wow. I just love like how clean it all looks. This whole patio turned out awesome. They're gonna have a huge outdoor dining space underneath here. I can picture him cooking his pizzas on this. The natural stone steps we left him to come out in the yard are great. Lead you into still a very big spacious backyard for the kids to play. Lots of room for plants all underneath this and around the pond. And then check out the way this fireplace or fire pit ties right in to the edge of the pond. Now we do this look so awesome often before we bring that brick right up to the edge allowing that pond to come right up in here so they can sit on the edge of the pond dangle their feet in there and we've got some big massive boulders over there so the strategic planting is going to be really important as stuff not only kind of goes up but also some stuff that creeps over the edges of these rocks to help soften up all those rocks and then in the spring we'll get some irises some sweet flag or something to soften up that big rock right down in front there but that'll be fun we can even get little sedums and stuff to grow in between all those rocks in there It'll be awesome looking. So we come this way, really nice looking waterfall. Love the craggy moss rock. Look at the size of that stone bridge. Is that bridge just not the coolest ever? So awesome. And the landscapers did a great job cutting the stone to fit right around that. And it takes you over here. I can see the kids sitting on the edge of the bridge, walking through the stream, coming over here, walking up into here. And then a very unique waterfall. Very narrow, but lots of sound. And visible from the office window up there. Well, check this out. little pool big giant frame rocks on either side each one of those frame rocks probably weighs someplace around 2,000 pounds those are some massive boulders so look at the whole waterfall built out of just two rocks big rock on one side big rock on the other side and then just a little something in between there I'll show you something kind of cool I'm just noticing this I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but you see how that water was trapped behind the sheet? So there's a sheet coming here. The sheet is so thick, there's actually water trapped behind it. You can see it pulling up back in there. That's what that gray line is there. an awesome job hiding the biofalls. We need a little bit more gravel up in here and then we have all these grasses and then look at that huge area for plantings. And then just in the back, you can see where they finished the veggie garden area. Well guys, we got Chris, we got Jack, and we got Hanson at the truck right now. And we got, of course, myself out here. We are out here at the job that we finished up last week, the small little pond that we put in with those big boulders. And right now what we're doing on this fine, rainy Halloween day is we're gonna put our, our timber wall, or retaining wall slash plant our beds that we were talked about earlier in the video. I know Jack talked about that and Brian was talking about at the beginning of the video, but now we're actually coming in here and we're gonna be forming up everything and getting that done today. We got pulled off of a job that we were on and instead of us going home and having a wasted day, we came out here and wanted to bang out this retaining wall. So we got roughly 120 feet worth of six by sixes and we got the chainsaw and we got all our Milwaukee pack outs out here and we're gonna be cranking away and getting this wall done or this uh, planter bed. So stay tuned and cue the time lapse.
guys can see from the time lapse, we managed to get this planter done in a relatively quick time. What would you say, about three hours, Jack? I think three hours from the minute we got here to now. Unloading everything, so we really got into motion with everything. Our idea behind it was, I believe we got in the video to walk through. Previously, they had these planter boxes just in a U-shape on this pad, and we just utilized the same dimensions, more or less, and brought it out much further. So it's six feet long by 13 feet by six feet. So hopefully this will give the homeowners a nice little spot to grow strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, all the things that they really just didn't have space before. And it's tied in nicely with the pond coming out from over the patio. So really love how it turned out and can't wait to see what they decide to grow. The one thing I also want you to pay attention to, we have two rocks to create a waterfall of that height, but look at how many rocks are used in the retaining wall to hold back all that soil. And the key to making that waterfall look natural is a big giant berm. So not only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rocks in here, but a huge timber wall on the back side here as well. And this next year will be perfect for them to plant all kinds of tomatoes, peppers, blueberries. They got some blueberry bushes over here. I know these were leftover strawberries. And then more boulders on this side to help retain that soil. You can see how steep all this is. Just a couple big boulders in here to help with erosion control. And then these plants will do the same thing. So even if you come around the house from this side, which may or may not happen, but it looks incredible. Great waterfall, and look at how that bridge leads you down and just invites you to go sit down by that fireplace down there. Let's go check it out from up above. So all this tied in so nice. I also love that the pond, it's not a huge pond. It's like a 11 feet wide, probably 16 feet from there to there and a little like 18 foot stream. But look at how it just ties everything together. Coming right out of the walkout basement, down these stairs, everything ties together to that bridge, which leads you over to there, which I can only imagine memory after memory after memory is gonna be shared around that fireplace with the sound of water and fish in the spring. Even the deck feels better now with this water feature tied all the way around it. Well, I love the design of this one. I think it fits into the front yard perfect without it taking up a lot of usable space. They still have a swing set for the kids to use. They have a veggie garden that's tied into the backside of the berm. They have tons of space for the kids to still play soccer, football, swing a golf club. They have an outdoor pizza kitchen and a relatively average backyard. So a lot of things going on. The pond just nestles right up in the existing landscape into the existing patio and so much better looking than what they had in the past. Well, Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I know the guys enjoyed building it. I enjoyed building it. I wish I could have been here all the way through the entire build, but we had to go to Japan. We had to do some other stuff. <laughs> you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. More importantly, tell your friends, right? Get some other people involved in the Aquascape lifestyle. Let them know what this channel is all about and we'll keep doing it. Tell me your favorite part and we'll see you guys soon. Till then, bye. bye.